next question. Skinny Kenny, Cookville, Tennessee, has written in and said, I think that if George Goulas had uh, come to Evansville and sold shirts with his face on the front that said, World's Worst Wrestler, on, and on the back, Daddy Said Sell, he could have made a good payday. What do you think? Probably. Daddy Says Sell. That was one of his... Is another of his sayings. I've called George Goulas for those not familiar with him. He was the son of Nick Goulas, who was the longtime promoter in Nashville, Tennessee. And George was the worst I've ever seen. The the worst. I mean, he was about, he was tall. He's about 6'3. Thought he could play basketball. But he was so uncoordinated. And Bobby Eaton was teamed up with him one time. I forgot what they were called. Oh, the jet that. set. Oh, the jet set. Oh, my God. And Bobby hated it. Bobby did all the work. And George, I saw a match between me and George when I first come to Tennessee, I don't know, years ago. I didn't like him then. I didn't even know him. So I stayed away from him. Didn't give him nothing. So what I was working for is that if I didn't give him nothing and I didn't try to have a good match with him, he would never want to work with me again, which worked. He didn't want to work with me. But, and if he'd have come up with those T-shirts to Evansville, uh, he'd have probably sold a few because people would remember what I said about him. Daddy said sell. And what was the other thing he said? Oh, just world's worst wrestler. It was the uh, suggestion. Oh, yeah, he was... He was the world's worst. Well, why don't we see? Because I'm not sure we've ever done this before, and I've been meaning to for a long time. There is a match on YouTube. It's a tag team match. On one side, George Goulas, of course. Yeah. And on the other side is a young up-and-comer called Chris Gallagher. Yeah, now, Dutch, who, who is Chris he, Gallagher? He well, that was my alter ego. He starved to death. <laughs> he didn't make enough money to feed himself, so and he died... So he's long gone. Uh, so you have a tape of this? Certainly do. Why don't we watch it? How about that? It was in, it was in Chattanooga, by the way. This was a Saturday night in Chattanooga. Let's key it up in uh, one sec. Okay, now we're back. So I've uh, I've muted it. I don't know how loud it is. I'll turn it nice and down. So who's your man there? His partner, Chris. Uh, my partner. Yeah. That's Don Kent. Don. Okay. He was one of the original kangaroos. Uh-huh. Oh, we mentioned I him, think. I think, last week, didn't we? Or, or... Yeah, maybe. Look at this. Who's okay, this? Now. this is virile, handsome man in the... Uh, and there's with Tojo the... Yamamoto. With the uh, who, Andre the who Giant was actually, singlet. He was actually uh, from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. He wasn't from Japan. <laughs> as Jimmy Kent, our manager... I don't off. think Jimmy, I, Jimmy, I, I don't think he had a, a sixth grade education. Uh oh, there it is. There's George got the, oh, and I'm threatening him. Oh, he cranks it the wrong way. Oh, here we go. He's here also we got go. two hands on the wrist with the wrist lock when you should have it on the oh. back of the palm. Thumbs oh, the back of the palm. boy, that was a hell of a punch by Don. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, what a punch. I just, Oh, is this the first time you've seen this, or did you watch? No, it I've seen I've seen it before. I try not to watch this, but I but look, he's got the he's got the wrong arm. Who's on oh, the left, isn't he? No, he's on the left, but he had the right one a while ago. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> Why did he just turn around? Oh, it's because uh, the manager. Sort of well, anyway, this was Saturday night after Chattanooga. We had done live Chattanooga TV that morning, I mean, that afternoon, then we would go right to the, right to the building. So you're not in anymore, uh, but George Goulas is, so we can enjoy a bit more George Goulas selling. Look at that punch. <laughs> Sorry, audio listeners, but uh, he seems to be punching as if he only has one arm. It's like the other arm, like, dangles down to the floor when he... Up! Oh, the old duck. The people popped on that. People were a lot easier back uh, in those days. Who's the referee? Did you say who the referee was? That is Ricky Morton's father. Really? 
That's uh, Paul Morton. Paul Morton. You didn't know that, did you? Well, oh, I, I knew. I knew his father you was are, in business. But. Yeah, you were learning so much. Mm. That's Paul Morton. That's Ricky Morton's father. And I remember when he passed away. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at this. What the hell? Why did he do a stomp? You were like four feet I, off the floor. I have no idea. It's a lanky streak of piss, isn't he, old George Gould? But you know, thing. if this... Yeah, you'd have to watch that Tojo, too. Jo, Tojo would chop the crap out of you, too. Gee, yeah. He looks like it. He's one of the guys who stayed loyal to Nick, wasn't he, when the... Yeah, he did. Happened. Why? He, he did stay... I don't know. I have no idea. I don't think he trusted... Jerry and he'd worked for Nick for so long. Oh, and he. So I'm just in awe of that forearm. Sorry, so he did. He didn't trust Jerry. Okay, uh, this is enough of this. Okay then. Well, sorry, we're on a different story now. God, some of them punches are just um. Oh, can, can you arrest someone for that? Uh, uh, impersonating a wrestler. Impersonating a wrestler. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, he sh he should have been arrested. Yeah. Seriously. Uh, so yeah, yeah he yeah, he yeah, stayed. You, yeah. This is like. This was a lifetime ago. This was right after, probably a year or two after I met uh, Sika Anawai. Anawai, that the way you say it? Yeah. It was not long after that. So, so I broke in there, and, and actually I, I learned to work there. After I got away from, got away from George, you know, it was, George is too much. Why Chris I Gallagher? Said, you know, he, you know, he, it's just a name I made up. Oh, but he just said you, you need to be something else, and that's what you No, made. I made it up. I didn't want to be my real name. Hmm. So I was looking for a name, and the Dutch Mantel was given to me by Ron Fuller's father, hmm. Buddy Fuller, who is, if you study Southern wrestling, I don't know how many people would do that. But he was uh, one of the one of the starters of Southern wrestling, and there's a town in Tennessee. I can't remember the name of it now. Damn, if I thought about it, but it all started right there. One guy went to New York to wrestle and come back and brought it back to Tennessee. Pro wrestling. It's like Herb Welch. Was he the? Herb Welch, and it was, uh, what was the name of that town in Tennessee? They were, uh, uh, Dyersburg. Dyersburg, Tennessee, and they kind of branched out from there. And then they ended up owning a part of Florida, Buddy did, part of Georgia, Buddy did. Then they owned uh, Alabama. It was the same bunch of guys. And then they didn't never got into Tennessee, but uh, Ron did later on in Knoxville. So it was a uh, Nick was a horrible payoff man, probably one of the worst. Paid me okay, but because I said I, I I can't do it unless you pay me this. So he he paid me for the times. It wasn't a lot of money, but for the times, it was good. Speaking of which, just getting back to what we said before, why didn't Tojo Yamamoto trust Jerry Jarrett then? And he just kept accepting Jerry stinky Jarrett, payoffs. Yeah. Jerry Jarrett. No, I th I think they took care of Tojo. I think Nick always took care of him for some reason. And I think that uh, he didn't trust Jerry to take care of him like that. And I think he wanted a guarantee. And Jerry was just starting up and he couldn't afford it. He didn't know whether he could pay it or not. But, you know, Jerry Jarrett's mother, Teeny Jarrett, you know, she made so much money. She was actually doing uh, mortgages with her money. Mm. So she had to make some money. And she started off working as an assistant in the office and worked her way up. And I don't think she ever married. I don't know. I don't think she was married when she had Jerry. I think that was her only child, I think. And he was always very loyal to her, and she was always very loyal to him. 